Sagittarius, welcome to your October 2023 tarot reading. Um, October is going to be really super busy this month. We astrologically, um, we have two Venetian eclipses. Um, both of those eclipses are ruled by Venus and Virgo this time around. Um, we also have um, Mercury flying through three different signs. And we have Scorpio season coming up <clears throat> as well, which means your season, Sagittarius, is just around the corner. So um, things are getting really busy. There's probably a lot of stuff that you're going to have to either change or say goodbye to. If you have been expecting for things to end, this might be the little push that you've been waiting for <laughs> to kind of get certain <clears throat> areas of your life wrapped up. So um, if you haven't watched your Rising and Sun astrology on Patreon, I highly recommend getting that for this month. Um, you can either become um, a member, a patron, right, for a member, um, or you can just follow or offering them like individually too. So you can purchase them individually if you're not ready to become a patron. Um, but if you follow our Patreon, perfectly free to follow our Patreon, you'll know when all of the, that stuff is coming out and you won't miss anything and you won't have to have that commitment of being a patron as well. Um, on the universe tier, we're also going to be doing um, a lot of classes. I have a couple of classes, like a series that I'll be doing on spiritual protection in October and in November, we're gonna be talking about trauma in the body. And that's gonna be really cool as well to be able to offer those things. And so if you'd like to get, become a member before then, you'll get all of the astrology and all of those classes as well. Um, yeah, so let's get into what's going on for you guys for October. We have the power of surrender, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what it is that you are surrendering. All right. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, Scorpio got like three. So I would not be surprised. I'm not surprised that you got a couple. You got multiple. I'm really not. Um, since Scorpio got three. So. Oh, nice. Surrender your attachment to results. I actually need to hear this one as well as a Scorp as a Sagittarius moon. Um, surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to quote unquote, make things happen. Then let go of the result. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. and surrender to what is this has a lot to do with acceptance okay surrendering to what is has a lot to do with acceptance like we talked about in the beginning um surrender to what is flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace <clears throat> surrender to what is so um, both of these really go hand in hand, you know, like not being obsessive about the way that you want to see things turn out in the time frame you want things to turn out. And, um, you know, we, you know, talking about how difficult things are right now, you know, we really want to be able to think bigger and dream bigger. And I don't want any of us to stop doing that. But we also, when we manifest things that we want into our lives, we also have to understand the journey to get there. I actually talk about that in my manifestation video. It's manifestation 2.0 is what I called it, or manifest, manifesting in a mad world is what it's called. Um, and that's on Patreon. And it's actually going to be able to be purchased. I'm not sure if it's up yet or not. I'll have to ask Henry. But 
I talk about that. I talk about manifesting in this crazy world that we're in. So that might be beneficial to you guys to watch during this time. And that's on also on the universe tier. So if you're already a member of Patreon, you can watch that on the universe tier um, as well. But um, a lot of acceptance, a lot, a lot, a lot of acceptance is necessary when it comes to um, looking at the journey that we're on and how we're getting to where we want to go. And, you know, all of those things we're going to have to do to get there. Sometimes it's just not going to look the way that we want it to. And that is huge, right? It's just a very, um, it's a kind of a sucky part of being human. <laughs> it's going to be like, if we're being honest with ourselves. All right. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising for October. I also have my six month reading available. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not already, um, but I do have it available. Pre um, sale will also have, so pre sales through October and it'll get you December's energies as well. So if you wanna get your reading um, in Oct, if you purchase it in October, reserve your spot and you can like reserve your spot in October. Um, that'll get you the, December energies. Okay. Okay. So it looks like for some of you, you're moving. <clears throat> some of you are traveling. Some of you are moving. But I think that you have questions or like there's something that you're not seeing very clearly. Do I want to say very clearly or do I just want to say, like, I feel like you're splitting hairs with something. Like you don't want to see something the way that you're supposed to see it. So eight of cups is the, there's this emotional walking away that has to happen. There's this journey that you're doing and it's about emotionally not at being attached, right? It's not about completely detaching and not caring about something. It's about allowing yourself to not be emotionally involved in the fact that you have to in some way go in a different direction. We have the two of swords, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we have the knight of cups. And then we have the chariot down here. So it could be a cancer energy that you're dealing with. Um, but also, and it's very watery. So maybe even a water sign is involved here, but I feel like emotions are running kind of high um, for October. So let's see the eight of cups. Okay. Yeah. Like, I feel like you, ha it's time for you to really balance out what your, um, like your emotional capacity like the emotional parts that you're giving out. Ooh, look at that. Could be dealing with the Scorpio energy too, or just, this is a transformation for sure that's going on. Um, and there is a water sign or somebody who's really intuitive that is guide, helping to guide with you. Um, this is really funny. So we have the Six of Pentacles on the Eight of Cups. The Six of Pentacles is clarifying the Eight of Cups. And this is what I'm talking about. That six of pentacles is like really asking you, where are you placing your energy? Are you giving it to people, places, and things that are no longer benefiting you, no longer helping you grow, no longer inspiring you? And so, and that's where that emotion, like, like it's time for you to realize where you can no longer give yourself emotionally you can no longer care you know um and i think there's a decision that you have to make and once you make that decision or once you stop ignoring that you have to make that because that's what that two of swords is it's ignoring that you have to make a decision you know it's there but once you make that decision for yourself and not ignore it there's a lot of clarity and abundance and like better days. The sun comes out. It's very eye opening.
and I have the Queen of Cups on the Knight of Cups. I feel like the Knight of Cups is is just kind of a sweet gesture from someone. Um, and I feel like it's coming from someone that you really trust intuitively. Um, but I feel like there's some kind of gift that's coming towards you and it's from someone who's really super intuitive. It could be love. Like someone could be expressing their love, their undying affection for you as well while you go through these transformations. Um, if you have someone like that, and it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, just, you know, um, someone that is that cares enough for you to be able to give, right? So you want to be open to receive. You know what I mean? Like not, you, you want to be ready to be open to receive that because gifts from the universe or people that are dropping into your life from the universe, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Um, and then we have the queen of wands with the chariot. So, you know, sometimes the chariot can be a physical move. It can be, um, just kind of a spiritual journey that you're on. Uh, you could be traveling like this. You could be deciding to travel sometime. Uh, I would not travel on the 14th or the 28th. I don't know exactly how the eclipses are going to affect everybody. Um, but, um, the 14th, it'll be in your 11th house and the 28th, it will be in your sixth house. So, um, work changes and friendship changes and you could, yeah, you could be going a distance this month. Maybe there's some kind of closure though when it's coming to like a routine that you have. But yeah, there's a transformation for sure. On the bottom of the deck, we have the death card and then we have the king of cups here. Um, so there could be an ending with a water sign and a beginning with a water sign or some, there's an ending with one water sign. It feels like there's affection from another water sign that's coming in. So whatever that means for you, they don't even have to be water signs. Like just they're very emotional people. One of them is a little bit more intuitive than the other. Um, the other one doesn't really necessarily show much emotion, but there's a transformation that's happening for you. And it's an emotional transformation. And I think it's bringing a lot of clarity to you and opening things up. So patience, there's a lot of patience. Patience is the word for you for sure in a really big way um for this month so i love you guys i take care of yourself and um yeah hope to see you in some readings